Um, welcome everybody, 6.15 here on where's my agenda, November 25th, and welcome. Before we start, does anybody have any additions to the agenda that they would like to make? Harlan, I see you do. And Mason, you want to step in front of the camera to speak, please? Just, just for my request? Sure. Yeah, it would be part of the, the theme here. Uh, yes, I just have a simple request about uh, an AOT map. Okay. Thank you. AOT? Yeah, AOT map. What's that? Agency Transportation. All right. So I'm going to start off with the minutes from the last meeting on November 11th. And I did make a few clarifying um, edits on, on there just to, um, there was a lot going on in this conversation. So I don't know if people want me to read out the little, I mean, a lot of this is just grammatical stuff, but I could if you want me to go through it, but um, they will, with these corrections, I mean, I'm just putting in some proper spelling of there instead of there as a place, as there as a person, stuff like that. So um, you can all see these when they're corrected and typed up. So I'd move to, um, Tom, you had a chance to look at them, but I'd mm -hmm. move to um, um, accept these I'll as corrected. That. I'll second that. All in favor? All right. All right, thank you. Yeah. We've got, um, I guess, um, Joan is not here. She's off on a vacation this week, but basically the update for her work is that she's been working on all the FEMA project paperwork and applications. So that's, um, that's, that's Joan's report. Is Tony here from the library? No. No? All right. So you're, um, Cooter, you're into the winter wonderland, huh? Yeah, and it's, we've got to remind everybody to not plow across the road again. <coughs> not leave those messes. And don't ride snowmobiles on the road. It's been a, a really big issue this last storm. Really? One in particular. Mm -hmm. I sent the sheriff up to see him, and he didn't find him. And I went looking for him, and I haven't found him. But we will. Mm -hmm. I'll explain to him. Is it <coughs> Kirkpatrick's road? Mm -hmm. Teddy really had a hard time going up to getting up there after he took it down. Turned it to ice, did it? Yeah. yeah. She's not worth smashing a truck over, getting somebody hurt. I know where it is. We go through the same way. So what actually happens? What is, what is this? Uh, it treads it right into ice, and then it doesn't peel up. And compresses it all down. Yeah, and you can just get in trouble really quick. And those trucks are heavy and they take off and there's no stopping them. Okay. These are found. Yeah. Found that out a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, you need to yeah. Did it fun? Went down my hill backwards all the yeah. way. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. All right. Um, well, carry on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
The um, all right. Well, um, Terry is. Did, she, did he get back from hunting in Canada? Yes, he did. He did. All right, but he's not here tonight, so we don't he's have. He's still deer hunting. Though. He's still deer hunting. Yeah, that time of year. All right. Um, so we've got um, a couple. Um, we have contract that we um, approved the bid last meeting for Music Mountain to um, deal with the sidewalks, and now we have the contract here. Um, I noticed that he didn't get out there today and deal with it. I went and spoke to him, and he's still waiting on a part for his Quick tractor. tractor. Come in. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I. I he guess thought he'd have it uh, this weekend, but apparently, the part didn't come in. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I understand he was waiting to order that part until he knew he had the contract. So it's um, but well, it's supposed to warm up tomorrow. Should melt a lot of that stuff up. So, um, so I'd move to go ahead and sign this. I guess we already accepted the bid, so there's no sense in. Um, I don't know if we even have to make a motion, but I'll make it anyway. I move to sign it. I second it. All in favor? Yes. All right. All right. Don't have too much of a choice. Anymore. No, we don't. But. I think it's going to be fine. <coughs> and then we also have the um, contract for the roadside mowing that we agreed to the bid at a past meeting. And we've got two places to, so I move to go ahead and sign this contract. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. On that one, two copies. Yeah, what is the amount no. you want to know on that one? Oh, 13. No, that's um, I think that's the um, I think that's uh, this is the snow pile one. That's the um, that's the one. There it is. 14.950. Money. Yeah. All right. Um, fourteen nine fifty. Fourteen nine fifty is not the sidewalk. I'm talking about the music because roadside mowing. Fourteen nine hundred and fifty. Yeah, okay. well, she, she and I have we're at cross. <coughs> okay. All right. And we also have um, our first application for a road work under our new class four road policy from Duluth logging um, from uh, on Hancock, Vermont for work up on the top of Wing Farm Road, which is basically fixing the road and turning water off the roadway so we can do with logging. And I would move to approve that. I would second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. There's not a termination date. No, I guess it's he's uh, you know got permission to improve the road so he can do his um his logging. I would I would suppose at the end of his when he's done with the logging, yeah. we should have an inspection. Well, that's a big lot up in there. There's a big lot. And I think they're going to go to the other side first. Is what he told me the other day. Yeah. Go you mean on Maple Hill? The Maple Hill Maple Hill side. Right. Yeah. The first. I just didn't know if yeah. that was going to expire. Well, I, I I saw the machine go up Maple Hill, so I think it's, you're right. He's going to start that location. No, because next winter before he gets back in there, <coughs> I didn't know if he needed another. I think that it's, um, I mean, we haven't really 
I don't know if we have to get that fussy about Nancy. Yeah, but I think he said it probably was going to be a couple of years that he'd be up in yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And so this, this just lets us know who's doing any of the work up there. Right, right. Right, I agree. To be fair to everybody, it shouldn't go on forever. But you shouldn't you have can to come back every year and get wants. Wants. Yeah. <laughs> if he's but continuing working on the same job. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's the, for the Forest Service. Right. So um, well, the job is part, part of it's part of it's part of the Forest Service project. Right. So they're actually overseeing this, as far as I know. Yeah, but this is just this in terms of the town the aspect of the town right. road. That this is just to ac access, access to it. Yeah. We have we have to grant the access, but it's, it's the, the actual logging is on the jurisdiction of the right. Forest Service. Right. But who's going to repair the road? Yeah. But if they go back in there in twenty years from now. Mm -hmm. you have to get another well, if he's permit. gonna do, if he's gonna have to do significant work, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe that just needs to be clarified a little better. Mm. Well, I, I don't know. Add a in, in what way? I mean, well, he, can he can fix the road forever for us. <laughs> Five years from now, and mm -hmm. say, "Well, I got a permit, but he's already done that job, and maybe there's a job right next to it, and maybe he wanted to do something different in five years." Well, sure, but um, I, I would read this as he's getting permission to work on yeah. the on the road for this project, and if it comes back in the future, that you know, um, once this project is completed, yeah. how big is this project? Quite large. The the logging job yeah, is yeah. quite large. Like the the project that this application yeah. is for is not, not large. It's, not it's, it's just long. basically he's right. hardening the putting some gravel in to even out some of the, the water bars and so it'll um he can drive through there without getting hung up. You know. I guess the main condition is that when he's done with the project that there's the uh, um you know, that it's doing probably water bars. Probably water bars, yeah. Martha, I just want to make sure I get this clear for the paper. Yeah. So, All right. um, the board approved an application from Blue Logging of Hancock uh, for access to do work in preparation for a Forest Service project at the top of Wind Farm Road. Is that, is that correct? Uh, to, to access a logging job on uh, National Forest you know, property. Okay, yeah. uh, to access a logging job. Job the Swans um, Mill, right. for the for the Forest Service. Yeah, yeah, it's the Swans Swans Mill line. Yeah. At the top of Wing Farm Road. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I see a hand in the corner there. It's me. Yeah. No, there's uh, I believe there's a time limit on the uh, amount of time they've got. Uh, the Forest Service has it in the contract. It's either three or five years. I'm not sure right. which. But it would seem to me that it would make job. sense to to go and give the guy a permit to keep the road open get his logs in and out, invariably he's probably going to have to get back in there with some gravel or something to fix something, you know. Yeah. yeah. So why not just make it, you know, for the duration of, of the, the time project. given by the Forest make Service to complete the contract. Notes. I yeah. would say Make it specific to that road. Yeah, but I would say. Writing conditions. Yeah, yeah. and uh, for the duration of his project and yeah. then to be inspected yeah, uh, when yeah. he's done. Back and yeah, then, yeah. Yeah. It's that's that's reasonable. We'll put that in as a condition. Who inspected? <coughs> Road commissioner. Road commissioner. Road yeah. commissioner. Oh yeah. yeah. To find out how the extent of the project, you have to go to the Forest Service website to see. Yeah, they have a, actually have a map. Yeah, yeah. It's a very, um, it's a very surgical, selective cut. Um, that's one of the reasons. And there's a, another one that's even larger. Yeah, it's um, large, but it's, 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 it's not like clear cut yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. No. And is everything coming out of that same road? No. No. There's no. some coming from the other side. I believe too. Yeah. Going to access some from Hancock too. I don't know. 
they just asked us about this. So I added in the conditions for the duration of the logging project and with inspection after the job is done. All right. And we do have this certificate of liability insurance. You see some minutes. And um, it gives us on to the additions. Harlan, did you have something you wanted to say about the book? Did you? I know of none. I was wondering if you were reporting some since you well, brought I'm it. Curious, what, yeah. what, formula, what, what brought about uh, Hancock coming up with the AOP now? They found it. They were cleaning out their oh, attic. Cleaning. cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cleaning. Just like we're doing. Found it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they um yeah. And so on. I will tell you I have one more one more place to check. Sure. Um it's a it's a real long shot for any town records, but that would be the um the office right next door downstairs. Um what's below us? American Legion. Legion. The American Legion room. If I can get in at some point, we should probably just check that. But yeah. American Well, it used to be the constable's office. Constable's office, yeah. Yep. And the American boiler room. Legion is just below and us. Yeah, and then the boiler boiler room. Yeah. 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 Yep. Nothing in here, right? The nothing, nothing of value to, to us. No, no records were stored in there. Yeah. And Nancy and I, we we did some on the weekend searching, um, and we looked behind the uh, books, and we did not find it. Do we know if there are other books that are missing? Not Has it been a comprehensive <coughs> um, cataloging of all the of all the? Um, Who's came? Who's following and did that? Yeah. So there is a, there is a comprehensive catalog of all the there, there is now. Yeah. There, there is. It's just uh, maybe what's in the books. We need to verify the <laughs> dates. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Sorry, Julie. Uh, they could have been found. Right. It could have been found. <coughs> and so the dates um, may not world. correspond with what's inside. I see. Okay. So yeah. At some so point, when we have extra time. <laughs> yes, so we will assign an archivist to that project. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like it's mm. probably an idea. Yeah. This time has come, and we've got to find some funds to help. Well, it'd be good for future reference. So it's a volunteer project. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sounds like a good intern. Well, this project. archivist yeah. is a good idea. So Mason, you wanted uh, as mentioned is this the same that Harlan was alluding to? Um, I just had a simple request uh, in reference to the 2015 AOT map on the wall mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. that it's incorrect. Yes. And can we take it down? Because this room is used by the public and a lot of people look at it, try to understand what's going on. We did whether we took the corrected one down to use for um, get this in Joan's office again because there was a newly corrected one. Well, why don't we um, instead of taking it down, why don't we just replace it with the corrected one? Well, that yeah. is totally a great idea. Yeah, I yeah. really appreciate it. But for the most part, it does. Um, well, for the help most part, it's very the, wrong. Um, well, no, for the most part, it's very right. There's a small section that's very wrong. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. But not. Not drastically wrong. Just it's drastically wrong. wrong that uh, right now the AOT is still waiting for Hancock to explain TH18. It's been three years now, just about two, three years running, of how this magical situation happened from 2001 to 2017. Sounds so like a Hancock meeting. I don't, yeah. yeah, but I just don't want people to have the wrong idea by seeing false information um, in the public like that. Yeah. <coughs> right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, and the other, um, I did get in the last meeting, there was a lot of discussion around the um, 
class four road policy about why we modified it from the VLCP policy. And I do have uh, um, an explanation from our attorney why he did the way he did it. And um, I, I know you guys are interested in it and I can give this to you. I don't know if you want this read in the public <laughs> meeting, but I know you had the questions about it. So I'll offer that. I'll give you a copy of that. Thank you. Yeah. Just so, in other words, paying attention. Yeah. All right. This is a copy of an explanation from the town attorney. Right, right. You're going over basically what we talked about last meeting. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And really, this is uh, the shortest meeting we've had in months. Um, oh, and we've got something. I actually, I think there's really helpful things in that letter that could be that should be should be shared. And since it's being recorded, it should be on record. All right. Well, I'll read it, since we have plenty of time, can I get back? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> so this is um, from Jim Barlow, who we've been using as our town attorney. So these are um, his words here. By the way of background, I've been working in the area of Vermont municipal government for the last 15 years, including nine years as a staff attorney for VLCT. I regularly counsel town managers, select board members, road foremen, and others involved in managing and maintaining town highways. In addition to, advertise, to advising municipalities on all matters of town highway issues, I have been a speaker at numerous town highway conferences around the state. Most recently, in 2018, I gave five regional presentations on highway right-of-way issues under the Municipal Roads General Permit. The model policy that I provided to the Rochester Select Board is based in part on the VLCT model policy. It includes additions and changes that reflect my professional experience with Class 4 town highway issues and changes to reflect the implementation of the Municipal Roads General Permit. I originally developed the policy for a specific client town and have since modified it so it can be adopted by other towns. I believe it to be a significant improvement over the VLCT model. The text, the purpose of this policy is to protect the public investment in the town highway system was included to give specific recognition to the fact that the town highway system is every town's most expensive and valuable public asset. Town highways comprise 85% comprise of the roads in the state of Vermont. Annual expenses related to maintaining and repairing town highways typically comprise 50 to 60 percent of a town budget. In almost every Vermont town, the majority of the town's employees are involved directly or indirectly in the management and maintenance of the town's highways. As anyone experienced in Vermont local government knows, because they are usually remotely located and not as frequently traveled as other highways, class four town highways are often abused and damaged, especially during mud season, and occasionally at significant cost to the town and the public. For several reasons, including in some instances commercial scale maple sap production, this seems to be an increasing problem. While historically maintenance and repair of class four town highways has been discretionary, quote, to the extent required by the necessity of the town, the public good and the convenience of the inhabitants of the town, 19 VSA 310B, under the municipal roads general permit, towns will soon be subject to maintenance standards for class four highways. Compliance with the MRGP standards will only increase the need for protection of a town's investment in its class four highways. The concept of protecting the public investment in class four town highways is embodied in section three, which includes a list of some of the statutory tools available to a select board to protect class four highways, i.e. special gross weight limits, temporary travel restrictions, temporary permits, bonding, etc. The concept of protection is also embodied in sections six and seven, which set standards for private improvement and maintenance of class four highways. Okay. Um, restricting or, or prohibiting motor vehicle travel on a class four town highway is not as simple or as clear as the VLCT model implies hence the need for different language. 
the statutory authority of a select board to temporarily restrict travel on a class four highway, impose barriers and post signs indicating the road is closed, clearly recognized under the statutes cited in the Rochester policy. The statutory authority to entirely and or permanently prohibit or restrict motorized vehicle travel on a class four highway as suggested by the VLCT model language, it's much less clear and probably doesn't exist. For example, by statute, an ATV or snowmobile, both motorized vehicles, can be operated on any town highway that is not being maintained during the snow season, VSA 23356B1A and 326A2. There is nothing a select board can do to prohibit this. In my opinion, a select board does not have the authority to unilaterally and permanently prohibit all motor vehicle travel on a class four highway. My recommendation has been that if a select board is considering permanently prohibiting motor vehicle travel on a specific class four town highway, it probably, probably can only do so on a seasonal basis, example, December to May, and only by adoption of an ordinance which is subject to permissive referendum, i.e. voter petition in a town meeting vote. That ordinance would need to have exceptions for, among other things, snowmobiles and ATVs and allow persons owning frontage on the highway to use the road by motor vehicle even when it is closed to motor vehicle travel by the general public. This comes from the holding in Okimo Mountain Incorporated versus the town of Ludlow um, prohibition of use of a public road in winter represents a taking of a budding owner's property right of access without compensation. So that's, um, that was, what, did you miss something you want me no, to read no, it again? I, I obviously <laughs> couldn't write as fast as you were doing, no, so I yeah. was wondering if it was possible to get a copy of that so I could quote sure, it. Sure, sure, we could do that before you go tonight. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I so, um, I the and I'll make a copy, and then you can have a copy, yeah, too. Yeah. Appreciate that, too. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Harlan, you want a copy, too? Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you one, Thank two, you for three. taking the effort to get the answer Sure. Yeah, no problem. It does explain a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I just um, figured that you want to do that. All right. Um, anything else tonight? I think that um, <coughs> I this would have I one request. I have one request. Everybody have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Right. Thank you.